Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to create different types of volumes in a dynamic disk. But first, you need to remember that there are two types of disk storages, basic and dynamic. Overall, a dynamic disk gives more flexibility than a basic disk. For example, in a dynamic disk, you can span or merge multiple disk spaces into a single volume. It also allows you to create RAID 0, RAID 1, and RAID 5, which technically provides you with speed and redundancy. Keep in mind that a basic disk has primary partitions and can support multi-boot configuration. Dynamic disk, on the other hand, has different types of volumes that can be modified and extended at any time, but it doesn't have multi-boot capability. The good news is that you can easily convert a basic disk to a dynamic disk without losing any data. You can also convert dynamic disk to a basic one, but at the cost of losing all of your data. I'm now using Windows 10 as a virtual machine. So for those of you who would like to know how to add multiple disks in a virtual machine, I will show you that at the end of this video. Anyways, let's get back to the business. As you can see here I got 4 unallocated disks, each with 10 GBs of capacity. Uh, let us first create a simple volume. A simple volume is the same as primary partition in a basic disk. Here you can specify the size of your new volume or partition. In this case I'm gonna use the entire disk space and click next. Now you can assign a drive later or choose not to assign any by selecting the last option. I will explain this option at the middle in the following examples. For now, let's assign a letter and click next. Here I can label this volume as applications and also check the option for performing a quick format. Click next and finish. It shows as primary partition because the disk type is basic. Now you can right click on the disk and convert it to a dynamic disk. There you go, we have just created a dynamic simple volume. Let's say all my partitions in disk 0 is full and I need some more space in partition C in order to store some of my files. Uh, one of the ways to resolve this issue is by mounting your unallocated disk to that specific partition. Here's how you can accomplish that. Create a new sample volume. Okay, I'm gonna use half of the available space. And this time I choose mount in the following empty folder. Browse your desired location and create a new folder. Click next. Choose the label if you would like to. Then click next. And finish. And now if I open partition C in my computer. I have a new space for storing data which is technically located in a separate disk. Next is span volume. This allows you to merge multiple disks into a, into a single volume. For this demonstration, I'm gonna span the unallocated 5 GB of disk 2 with the unallocated disk 3. Select the drive that you wanna merge and click add. You can still modify the size of the span volume now or in the future. Click next. I would like to assign the letter S as I'm gonna use it for storage. Select yes to allow your disk to be converted to dynamic. That's it my friends, our new span volume has 15 GB capacity and is shown in purple color. Next on the list is stripe volume, which is RAID 0. This type of volume provides high speed. 
because it stores some pieces of the same data in disk 1 and other pieces in disk 2. It means if anything happens to one of your disks, you will lose all of your data in that striped volume. Let's quickly create one. Please note that the available disk that you choose can have more but not less space than your selected disk. There you go, here is our new striped volume or rate 0. In order to create mirrored volume or RAID 1, I will delete these volumes for now. Uh, mirrored volumes stores an exact copy of the same data into two disks. It is basically used for fault tolerance and redundancy. To save the time, I'm gonna quickly create one. Because it duplicates the same data across two disks, your total storage space will reduce by 50%. For example, now this volume shows 10 GB capacity, although there are technically 20 GBs of space. Though it is not as fast as a stride volume, but at least you won't lose your data if one of these disks become corrupted. The option for creating RAID 5 is grayed out because it requires a Windows Server that I currently don't have. But the process of creating RAID 5 is pretty much the same. Finally, it is time to quickly show you how to add multiple desks in your virtual machine. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions, leave it down in the comment section. And I would be more than happy to answer them. Thank you.